Hey everybody, welcome to Cut Transform Glue. So in this video, I'm going to do something a little different. The photos that you're seeing right now are from my kit bashing work or junk bashing, some would say. And in this type of work, I glue and I assemble a bunch of junk, to be honest. And if you want to see more photos of this work, I will put some links on the description box below. But for now, as you could see on the title of this video, I'm going to make a two-legged robot. I'll begin by showing you guys how I work. I collect and store different parts from old electronics and things that would go to the trash. I also buy some stuff from stores like these brass tubes that you're seeing right now. And recently I started including in my projects on the laser cutter some random pieces and shapes so that this could help me when making my kit bashing projects. Then I did some quick sketches so that I knew the basic structure and the shape to begin with. I start by positioning some laser cut MDF pieces against my sketches. So the idea here is to create the outside faces of the legs. And I'm using my sketches not as like 100% precise guide, but just to get some rough ideas of the general size and shape and geometry. So let's speed up this process for now. Oh, and by the way, these black plastic things are from a dead Wi-Fi router. And these are the outside faces from the lowest part of the legs. This scotch tape dispenser looked like a good waste for the robot. Now I had to make a sturdy and nice axis for the legs and using the scotch tape dispenser as a waste for the robot I started gluing some circles to make this. At this point I applied a coat of primer at the whole thing and I do that multiple times during the process of creating the models. This might be costly, but it helps me to see the shapes and the volumes better.
Now the basic shapes and geometry of the legs were set also the axis and the waist were at a good shape so I started working on the body of this robot. From the very beginning of the process I was considering a round body and I found this old food container and I thought the shape looked nice against the legs and the waist so I started working on that. The walls on this food container are very thin, so to give it a better structure, I will glue some circles of 2mm tire into it. The round body was looking nice, but I felt it needed some straight angles and corners, so I did that. The weight distribution was great, the model was standing up on its own, but I felt it needed some details in the back. So I grabbed this bubblegum packaging and I thought to glue that on the back. So this is what I did next. So this concludes this video, 
the basic shapes and geometry of the robot is set and this is looking nice but in the next one I'm going to start the most fun part of any kit bashing project which is the detailing if you like what you saw here and you want to support me hit the like button and subscribe to this channel also if you could follow me on instagram the links are in the description box below and of course thanks for watching